What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys, back again. More free to play. Last day on Earth. As you can tell, not feeling super well. Not really. Actually, it's just allergies. So, but my voice is taking a little bit of a beating here. So, no cam today. We're jumping in, though. We're getting some advanced recordings done, a handful of things just to make sure that we have our full week of content. So, hopefully, enjoy that. Uh, we're jumping in here. We've got one main task to do today finish the season we have said i probably said this in one or two videos leading up to this point we are trying to grind and get a full season complete here on this on the path here on the season reward track battle pass whatever you want to call it i am super super close here so we have some events going on right now. We're going to jump in. We're going to grab some supply, which is pretty freaking awesome. Test our luck. Not worried about that. We are going to go ahead, hit Crooked Creek Farm. So we, if we get all this done, which we should pretty easily, <clears throat> excuse me, I might add, um, we should basically just get this complete or we'll be right there at the end. We've got a couple of days left as of this, uh, as of the filming of this episode, and uh, we should be able to knock this out. Um, I'm going to jump in and talk about this, but uh, I got a really good question uh, in the Discord. Links in the description if you want to check it out uh, and join us over there. We have a Last Day on Earth playlist. I got a question about this. Oh, we also have collector events, so we're going to grab some posters as well. Um, but I got a question about this, about being able to complete uh, the season path. And is it, are you able to do that? Is it something that... Uh, you know, you should strive to get done. I say yes. I think you should always strive to get done whatever you can that's going to benefit you from a free rewards perspective. That part is really, really important. Um, you want to try to find any ways that you can to maximize uh, the gameplay loop here and pick up some additional things. So uh, season pass, certainly one of them. Ooh, I do not want to use that. Good, good catch. I don't want to use that either. Both have leg shot. We need to save these. Let me put this away really quick. That was almost a blunder. Um, you should try to look and try to work towards anything that you can grab. Um, just by doing the normal stuff that you're going to be doing. Right? So, uh, completing the season path. You're getting points for every zombie you kill. Every rock you smash. Every tree you cut down. That part is really important, and you should work to try to grind that up now. Should you go super out of your way? Uh, no, I think that's up for a discussion, but um, how often and how capable should you be to complete the season path? I really think you need to be at a point. This is me talking uh, you know, from personal experience and having played the game for a while. I think you need to be a point in the game where you can clear a lot of the locations without trouble. Now, granted, you could really grind. You could really grind zones. You could really grind a lot. And you'd be able to get really, really far. But in order to hit the upper tiers, the upper echelons of the season path, especially since you need 8,000 points per level, I really think you need to be able to complete some of the tougher locations in the game. What am I talking about? I'm talking about things like Bunker Bravo when the season event comes up. Uh, being able to obviously really consistently do bunker alpha every time it resets hitting it going clear to floor you know clear for floor three maybe even doing some hard mode stuff there uh, i think you need to be able to do some of that With all that being said i think you don't have to overstress too terribly much to be able to get and finish the season again if you're doing all of the season events now granted if you can go in and if you can complete, for instance, like uh, uh, the commune, and you can get some bonuses there. Uh, there are lots of different ways to be successful here in completing the season path. Uh, but you just have to be able to play and do it with consistently consistency. And again, I think it's really important. And it's going to make it very, very easy. It's going to be a lot more possible if you can complete some of the tougher locations in the game uh to and, and be able to do that with regularity uh, you know go in and, and and clear port lab for instance when the event is going on do all four floors maybe even do a little bit of hard mode uh go ahead and you know have the opportunity to uh for instance maybe also go like i said bunker bunker bravo is a great example 
of uh, something that you can go to do that you don't necessarily need to do a ton of throughout the season, but clearing it once during the event gives you a ton of points. The reason I say this and the reason I say and I talk about some of the tougher locations uh, is the fact that you need the additional boost in points for killing the bigger bosses. That's truly what I think it comes down to. You need the extra bonus points for killing some of the more difficult bosses in the game. And uh, you only really find those in locations that are more difficult. So again, we'll, we'll, we'll get some good points here from the Ravager by popping him. Um, you can hit this reset consistently. If you do all the other low, you know, locations with regularity, um, you might be able to substitute some of that. Oh, I thought it was going to get hit there. Um, you know, let's say maybe you can't do Bunker Bravo at this instance, but you can hit an extra, maybe two rotations of the farm. You could probably still do that, right? Probably still make that work. Uh, this isn't, you know, a, a perfect example model of what you need to get it done in order to get it complete. But just keep in mind that, again, I think the main basis here is the fact that you just need to be able to do more of the stuff more consistently um, in addition to your grind sessions and some of the other things that you're doing. So, uh, like I said, you should. You should try. You should definitely make it a goal if you can, especially if you get into the upper tiers, right? Um, that part is, I think, important. You know, getting dragon offs, getting blueprints especially becomes really, really critical. I don't really want to fight all these guys. Kind of getting poo pooed on. Oops. And I don't have healing. I did not come well prepared for this. Pop the rotten yokel. We need to use the Uzi anyway, so let's just pop these guys. Sorry, I had to focus there for a minute. Boy, oh boy, I had to focus. There's a bat, that's pretty nice. I need to kill one more uh, of these. Ooh, nice. So one more bull. Puppy dogger. It's a puppy. It's a pupper. Beautiful. Nice, we'll grab some posters here. But yeah, so... That's been a goal. It's been a goal for mine for a while. Let's see how we're sitting just by getting this done. We're there. That's it. That's all we needed to do. <laughs> Was just complete the event. That's pretty dope. Sorry, had to cough. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to mute those as best as I can. But again, we were able to come in here, and knock all these out with the killing of the Ravager and some of the other enemies that we had here. We were able to finish off. Season pass. I'm very, very excited about this. We're going to be able to grab some absolutely fantastic rewards, which is really, really good. We'll probably do that here this episode, just uh, honestly, because we can. And uh, that makes sense for us to do that. So, And uh, we'll showcase, you know, kind of what that looks like. Like I said, I think, I think it's good when you can do this. I, anytime you can pick up. Some extra rewards just for playing the game, doing the thing that you're going to do, getting the grind, getting the resources is, uh, I think, is a win here. All right, so let's grab this. I meant to do self-healing. Swap this. We did also finally, finally, as we've been grinding, I've been really trying to grind up some iron and a few other things, a lot of stone for different stuff that we need. Um... <laughs> I should showcase this because it's actually pretty monstrous. I finally, finally have Burglar to level three. This is a huge quality of life thing here. Um, we are moving down. We don't have a ton left, honestly, still to grab. We have a couple in Careful. I have one more good memory. Quiet Gunner. Neat Freak. Um, so we do still have a few skills, Lungs of Steel and Copper Miner, that we haven't grabbed, but we are sitting at level 180. It took us just about, I think it was just recent that we were able to pick up, uh, pick up Burglar level 3, which is just fantastic. Now, every door, every chest, everything we're going to open 
it's finally open to us which is uh it's pretty game changing honestly it really is because now nothing is locked behind uh any type of wall or lock or barrier and uh, every location you don't always need it every location but all of these locations get better now that we can get into anything which is fantastic so very happy about that I'll grab up all this stuff I'm pretty stoked here that we're getting this done. We'll just finish clearing the farm here for the most part. I think we can just grab everything. Mostly everything, I should say. I don't need the paints. Apologize again. My voice, I'm trying to make it hold out, but it is, uh, it is rough sledding here a little bit. I just pop a couple of these guys and uh, we come back. Armor's running pretty low. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see how bad these are actually think I don't remember if I trigger this guy if the rest of these guys come running yep, they do. right it's not terrible for these guys him down probably some easy time here particularly want to use this up but I will just to save ourselves some heals that clears this one out all done here just got one more pen to get up I would way, way rather have this than that. Come back and collect everything, though. All right, let's see here. Now, I should be able to sneak. Bop. Is this guy... I actually think this guy, if I angle this correctly... Dan and Dan pop this guy. There we go. It's a pretty clean run here. Nice. It's actually really good. That was a clean run. I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna do here is grab the last of this there's our key let's drop this in here put a few eh it doesn't really matter we'll go hit this chest up then I want to pop back to the base and we'll just do a little collection of our season rewards here let's see what we got rocking and rolling we're gonna have to run back to the farm anyways uh, just to obviously grab the last or the rest, I should say, of the loots. There will be too many things that we has here. But another season about to be in the books. We probably will end up grabbing at least an additional crate or two, but we'll just open them up with what we got here. Kind of beat up here but that's fine because the good part here is using up the armor will make it so that we can pull the full armor set and I 
heal up this way. Last little bit of the Uzi on this guy. And we're done. Nicely done. Let's see what chopper part we get here. What do we got? Chopper four. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do I not care about? I would rather have the steel. And that. This. Love me some coupons. Some ration coupons. But not necessary. All right. We pick up a wonderful shotgun. Let's grab everything we can here. Slicer we already have. I think I have enough of that. Again, we'll be coming back anyway, so nothing crazy here. Survivor's notes. What is this? Ooh, valuable. We don't see the valuable one as often. Uh, so that's really that's actually really kind of neat. Good stuff in here. I'm excited. Actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We are going to go ahead. We'll get our uh, chopper filled up here. We'll be running back to the base. All right. Before we head back to the base, I actually had a rest stop pop up. So we're going to jump into this. I have already run back, dropped our things off, ran back to the motel, then drove up to the rest stop here. I want to be able to grab whatever we can find in this one. All right. We got the potentially the zombie one or the kill these guys one. Either way, this one's not terrible. Maybe one's a little bit annoying. All right, we're gonna kill these guys. Yep. Okay. Not terrible. I don't mind this. I do usually just bring two of these. I typically am bringing a, a weapon, uh, a gun of some sort. It's pretty much required for, I don't think it's required, I should say. Um, but it's pretty typically used for just about every scenario that we have. Uh, and we usually make it up with the weapons that we find anyways. That part is okay. We'll see what we end up finding here. Choppers are the place. The choppers are the thing. There we go. See? That yeah, was worth it. It's always worth it, in my opinion, to grab these. Just for the gas and some of the other supplies. And hit this. We can drop these in. Get our chopper full up. And honestly, what I might do, this is not bad. This is not bad when you think about pistols. Essentially, we got basically a full pistol out for just a, like a little bit of an Uzi that we used up and a little bit of a crowbar. I think, honestly, the other thing I am going to do really quickly here, probably just auto this location. We don't get messed with here. Um, so just being able to grab all the little resources is essentially a free spot now that we've killed uh, these, these raiders. And we uh, should be good. So we'll auto this up. And then uh, to the base we go. We'll do some season reward progress. All right. Finally back to the base here. And let's jump into season rewards. Again, I am super, super, super stoked that we were able to get this fully complete. Get all the way to level 80. And it's looking like we'll probably grab an extra crate or two as we have a few days left. And are going to knock out a couple of additional tasks that we want. In addition, I'm going to be running around. Like I said, you saw us grab a few posters. I'm going to be trying to grab the rest of the collector posters as well. So we'll be headed to the different bunkers. And Bunker Alpha is going to get some love probably to try to allow us to pick up some factory parts. That's my big goal here uh, to be able to do that. But let's grab all of our rewards. All of the different things. I mean, we take a look here. Solid section of weapons. Nice that we get some hatchets and some pickaxes. We get a couple of crates. We're going to get some weapon mod blueprints. We're going to get some more. We'll grab some grenades. It's pretty dope. We grab a rare infinite pack. Pretty cool. SWAT armor. We grab a C4. We grab some mines of VSS. Very, very nice. We get pump. We get some puppies. Dog food. Seaburn. We grab a propeller. Engine parts. Dragonov. Dragonov blueprints. Super excited about this. 
I think we have snagged them all. So let's uh, do a thing. Let's open some packs. Let's grab a rare infinite pack here first. Grab a rare. This has got the ghillie suit. Really kind of hoping for the pistol. Nope, we got some ghillie pants. And we get the backpack. The outdoors. That's not bad. That's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool looking. Got some infinite packs. Let's see what we grab here. This is a nice chance for us on free to play just to grab some extra sets of armor, some heals, some weapons, potentially a few additional things. Ooh, we got a very. Oh, just the rare. I thought we got the very rare. Excuse me. Two little logos. Pretty similar. Another rare. Get some boxer shorts. Looks like we're gonna grab the pistol last here it's not bad and again we might be able to pick up an additional package or two the double pistols that's beautiful it's a nice little snag there at the end i also do have some silence packs uh we completed arena so let's grab a few of these things let's see if we get nice all right this song is a little too crazy for me here apologies for that that was nice. We got two guns from that. Now we're luckier. Probably we won't see another one. <laughs> That's probably what's going to end up happening. Okay. We got another pistol. Beautiful. Take one more pistol. There we go. I'd say one more very rare gun would be pretty dope out of these. Okay. We got, th we got quite a few pistols. That's actually better than I was expecting to do from these. We got some files with rare blueprints and some blueprints. Let's grab our dragon on blueprint here, interestingly enough. Grab our extremely rares. And our regular weapon mods. And then let's see what we get from these. This is pretty cool. Grabbing some files with rare blueprints. This is why Arena is touted as one of the best things you can go to clear because you get these. These are very expensive. And give a whole ton of value. So let's see what we find here. We got red laser. I'd have to check to see. It's a red laser, reinforced stock, blood spiller. Red laser and... Red laser. I literally got two of the same thing. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Do we have the red laser? in our stuffs i'm curious here no unequivocally i can say it. no red laser is actually pretty solid crit chance and crit damage so we'll be grabbing that we'll probably grab some of these additional blueprints here um but we'll do that maybe as we get these done all right so dragon off first this is going to just guarantee to be new 8x sight here a blue one that's pretty cool all right then it was extremely rare so i'm gonna save those let's do the regular ones oh nice little red dot that's cool the m16 shotgun we've got handheld handguard and for the scar we get a drum magazine okay there's some there's some hits now these are the ones that we really want to pop off here um Finding the silencer for the pistol would be freaking crazy. What else are we looking for? Uh, anything else good in the extremely rare slot? Let's see what we get. Light handguard. Nice. That's pretty cool. Silencer. Red dot on mount. Now, this is huge, actually. This is the leg shot for the pistol, which is extremely game changing that is wicked good give me the suppressor no but we got large magazine okay okay we need to look at these here really quick so this is power shot which we had already and this is leg shot um yeah i know exactly where all of my stuff is gonna go for this <laughs> uh like one million percent we need some more springs honestly like i'm filling this up that's how good this is that is crazy that is crazy our pistol 
we can get this knocked out our pistol is so close to being just absolutely bonkers and then if we could just find the silencer that would literally be it all right we're gonna have to hit some springs up here and a one more carbon composite that is freaking wild all right m16 here found a red dot plus two on damage is pretty good Do we have an optic on this already we don't so that'd actually be a really nice one to grab here uh and it's not too hard to put together when you go to think about it probably fill this up too i don't think there's anything i would rather put this on getting good m16s would be really really nice um What else do we get? Large magazine. Okay, so do we have a magazine already? No, we're actually missing the magazine. Durability, durability, minus one stability. And this is durability, crit chance, minus one stability. This is really good too. This is really, really good as well. These are huge. These are absolutely huge. I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of the stuff in here for this. I don't want to do the factory parts, but I'm good to do literally everything else. That is wild. Those were some fantastic things that we were grabbing here. Um, and this is the best magazine. As you would expect, it is one of the very rare ones. So now we're just down to some springs here. We're down to some springs. I really do. I think we put this in here. I don't think I worry about this. I think the extra just plus two damage is pretty easy to put together. Uh, we do take a speed hit on this, which isn't particularly great. Um, lenses are a little hard to come by, but I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to, I'm going to sell on this. I think this is the way to do this. Now we just need some more springs here. And then the nice part here becomes magazine. We have the, uh, we have the muzzle break here. Then we'll have an optic on this. We got the light handguard, which is very, very good. But we already have a handguard here. Um, so maybe we hold. I'm trying to look at that. This one isn't terrible to put together either. Go to think about it. I don't have a bunch of bolts. Uh, I do need an optic for this. We're working towards both. Again, just springs. We need lots of springs. Lots of springs. Let's grab some of the... I think we grab some of the... Um, some of these. Let's see what we can grab. Let's see what else we get new from this. All right, so we get a red laser, which is pretty dope. We have the, what is this? Composite bow already. We have the reinforced stock. Lightweight magazine. Green laser. Oh, here's a new one. Little handle action. We have the drum magazine already. Green laser. Reinforced stock. We get the blood spiller. We're also going to grab the red laser for the scar of the metal pointer vintage sight blade the grip we get a small sight here so we're getting to the point where we are running out of we're not running out we have plenty more weapon modifications to find but um, we're definitely getting a little bit more consistent with things that uh, we don't need anymore so i think Pretty sure this blood spiller is the best of these, if I'm not mistaken. Sidearm knife is pretty good. Damage, crit, range. Do I just fill this up? I just don't have a ton of bolts. I'm just going to use up some flies here. I have a lot, a lot of some of this stuff, so... This makes sense. Got a good handle on this already.
think I saw a ton new here. Do you also get a laser? Laser beam. This is really good. Crit chance and crit damage. This would definitely be worth throwing some things in. On the tail end, just to kind of really refine our M16 there. I do also want to put the silencer together. Our AK is looking to be so strong. We have a ton of SCAR. We actually have a lot of, of the SCAR weapon mods here. Pretty good amount of the VSS ones too. That's really solid. Very happy with this. We're going to have to head over to the bunker because we have a whole bunch of stuffs to get turned in here. Honestly, that's probably my next trip. I'm just going to get prepped up for this. To hop over there. I think we does that. That was pretty dang good. Let's just see. Oh, I wanted to take a look here. We got one shepherd puppy I can throw. Send them to the dog crates. And other than that, we're pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Stacking up some armor, got some grenades, have a handful of weapons. Oh, we do have some lenses, some factory parts, and some springs. I think I grabbed the springs and the factory parts here. Let me see, let me see. We have some gun oil as well. Let's see, can we get anything done here very, very quickly? Again, I sold pretty much all the way on this. Let's put the other 10 here. So I need one more carbon composite. We need 20 more springs and uh, our pistol just skyrockets into effectiveness, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm really thinking about dropping these in for this large magazine, but we need a lot of springs. So it probably makes sense just to hang on to those for the time being. Um, and I look forward to getting all this stuff traded in that we have. I'm going to grab this is a bunker code. All right. And uh, we will head uh, this way here. Oh, grab. Grab my sledgy so I can insta bop these guys. And uh, we can get on the road here as we close this out so season coming to an end we get our first full official completion we technically got it last season on a little bit of a bug i think uh, but uh, our first full one is done which i am like absolutely stoked absolutely stoked about really good season rewards we're gonna keep hitting knocking out some supply we're gonna keep working towards collector as well try to grab up as much as this we can see if we can't grab some factory parts will be really really big and important for us we got a lot of locations to jump around and to do and we'll see if we can't grab a few additional crates as we get into it hopefully you have had a great season hopefully this was a fun interesting one for you and i do apologize for the voice it is one of those things hopefully by the time we get into our next recordings hopefully i will be better so appreciate that like i said just some seasonal allergies kicking my butt here and uh, hitting the voice box a little bit. So I'm going to flash some socials, like, comment, subscribe. Help us get to 10K. That's a big goal for subscribers this year. The channel has been growing absolutely amazingly. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you just clicking on the videos. Likes and comments are always appreciated. But just checking out other content. And then being friendly to some of the non-Last Day on Earth content is also really helpful for us. So thank you so much for that and all the support. We have our main channel. If you want to pop over there, that'd be cool too. We have a Discord, like I talked about. Uh, so if you want to jump in, we have a Last Day on Earth uh, channel set up that we can share and chat and discuss Last Day on Earth. So pretty excited and uh, welcome you to join us on all of that stuff. So with that, close it out. Doc Average Gamer, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next one. Peace.